the rainstorms battering Beijing had still shown no sign of clearing. Thankfully, the retractable roof on the Diamond Court meant quarter-final matches at the China Open were still able to get underway. And there was a battle of Britain in the last eight matchup between Andy Murray and qualifier Carl Edmund. Murray had defeated his Davis Cup teammate in their only previous meeting, but he was pushed all the way in the opening set tiebreak before using his know-how to eke ahead. What a point! Extra pace on that forehand from Murray. Up until then, Edmund was with him all the way. Edmund had been a break ahead in the second set, with his forehand always a weapon but the world number two pulled it back. That is a tremendous volley. It was so difficult. Moving into the ball, so low to the ground, and he made it look straightforward. It really wasn't. Murray too good on the day, but Edmund putting up a gutsy display. Andy Murray's quest for a maiden title here in Beijing goes on. He's equaled his best performance by reaching the last four, but my goodness me, that was hard work. There was a generational battle over on the Lotus Court, as 19-year-old Alex Zverev took on 34-year-old David Ferrer. Zverev, so impressive all season, showcased his class in the opening set. to that one. Yes, what a point. Trailing by a set, out of nowhere, Ferrer mounted one of his famed comebacks. Ferrer's after this. Oh, he's made it. What a pick up and score from David Ferrer. Got a little bit lucky, but he earns his luck. And in the decider, an error of judgment from a young German gifted Ferrer a break of serve to get back on level terms. Oh, Zverev oh. let that go, and that was a huge yeah. error of judgment. And the Spaniard never looked back as he completed a superb victory to reach the semi finals. What a comeback from David Ferrer. 4-1 down, being hopelessly outplayed in the early stages. Battled back to a tie-break, which he lost, but that did not phase him. And experience has won the day over extremely talented youth. Grigor Dimitrov had yet to beat Rafael Nadal in seven previous attempts, and the pair went at it once more in the night match. In an extraordinary first set, Nadal failed to win a single service game, with the Bulgarian flashing some classy winners to lead. Oh, Dimitrov is playing some inspired tennis. After dropping serve early again in the second, Nadal once more failed to handle the pace of Dimitrov's ground strokes. Oh, what a strike from Dimitrov. Absolutely majestic. And Dimitrov would finally have his first career win against Nadal. It's glorious Grigor in Beijing. Into the semi-finals here for the very first time and more significantly for the resurgent Bulgarian first win over that man, Rafa Nadal. The remaining quarter-final saw Milos Raonic win his second match of the day to reach the last four. Despite a worrying-looking ankle injury, the Canadian dismissed Spain's Pablo Carreño Busta in straight sets, 6-4, 6-4. So we were down to just four players with Murray, Ferrer, Dimitrov and Raonic all still seeking a maiden China Open title.